This is a 140 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Mr. Stone, capital S-T-O-N-E. Defense attorney, Mr. Trask, capital T-R-A-S-K. And we'll start with plaintiff attorney. Ready? Here we go. Why didn't you just call the cops? Why didn't you just call the police department? Because of my position, I'm on felony probation. I'm a habitual drug user. What credibility do I have? Who's going to believe me? I felt like I didn't count the position that you had. What position did you think Officer Graves had compared to that position? I know. I knew what he did wasn't right, but I felt less than, I felt, I felt intimidated, I felt worthless. It just added insult to injury I already carried. Eventually, though, you told an officer after you were, you told us you hid in the closet at first, right? I did, yes. When the officer's banging on the door saying, FPD, FPD, you go hide in the closet, but you eventually tell him why then why then they were upset they were like why didn't you open the door we got a call we thought you were dead or hurt i was scared i didn't tell you because the last time i opened my door and i just broke down and told them what happened it just happened it just happened that way Okay, Jane Doe 3, this is Mark Trask. He's going to ask you some questions. Okay, okay, nothing further, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Trask, cross-examination, sir. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Good afternoon, Jane Doe 3. Good afternoon, sir. I'm only calling you by your first name because for reasons directed by the court, we're using first names, so I don't mean any disrespect by not addressing you by your last name okay that's fine what i'm going to do jane doe three is ask you some follow-up questions about the testimony that you gave to mr stone then i'm going to have some of my own questions okay if at any point you need a break please let myself or the court know and i'm sure we'll be able to recess for you okay about how many times you've been interviewed by Detective Riley previous to today, yes, and in fact you recognize her today, yes, from prior contacts, yes, I do recognize her, and about how many times have you met with her in person, three, when's the last time you met with her? It was in May of 2006, or I saw did you want to correct your answer? Well, I saw her last week. Okay, so you met with Detective Riley last week and the district attorney. Okay, yes, that's okay that you met with him. Well, yes, so you met with Detective Riley last week and did you give her talk about your testimony that you'd be providing here today? We went over the case, uh-huh, yes sir. About how long did you talk to her? Well, it was a group setting. It wasn't. I talked to them for a couple hours, hour and a half. So Detective Riley was there. Yes, she was. And Mr. Stone was there. Yes, he was. Who else was there? The advocate, Susan. And was that interview recorded? I'm not sure. Do you know if Detective Riley took notes of that interview? I don't believe she took notes. No, I, I'm unclear. You may not know, just like Mr. Stone said, if there's something you don't know, I don't want you to guess. So you met with Detective Riley and Mr. Stone about a week ago. Any other times in the recent past, for example, last month, two months, half of a year? No, that would be May of 2006. Would it be fair to say May of 2006 
was about the period of time that you were working on getting off of drugs. I was on drugs at that time, yes. Now, at that time, was drug use affecting your ability to remember things that you told Detective Riley? I don't believe so. So you believe that you had a good recollection of events in about May 2006 when you spoke to Detective Riley? When I initially spoke to her in May, the recollection of April 17th, I feel I had a good recollection of it, yes, and you've given some testimony today, gosh, almost a year and a half later. Would you say your recollection is better here today, one and a half years later or closer to the event back in the summer of 2006? I would say it's the same. Okay, so today you feel as though you still recall the details of the day. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of April 18th, 2006. So we are clear. So we have a clear record. Can you wait for me to finish asking my question before you respond? Yes, sir. Sorry. Great. Thank you. I'm actually going to start from some of your last comments that you made to Mr. Stone and then go back to the beginning of your testimony today, okay? I want to, if you will recall your testimony today regarding Officer Graves. All right, the word list. Officer Graves, capital O on Officer Graves, capital G-R-A-V-E-S. F-P-D is all caps, no periods, no spaces. F-P-D. Mark Trask, capital M-A-R-K. New word, capital T. R A S K Jane Doe three capital J A N E New Word capital D O E and then space and then just a number three Jane Doe three Detective Riley capital D on Detective New Word capital R I L E Y Advocate Susan, capital A D V O C A T E, new word capital S U S A N. Advocate Susan. All right, and that is it for the word list, and that will conclude our 140 Q and A practice test.